Hello everyone, this is Barbara Derrick. How are you doing today? I thought I'd come on a few minutes early and um, go over a few things um, like materials, supplies, and also I want to tell everybody how every, everybody's doing. I know when news came about um, the art exhibition in, town, in the city here and that that the doors have closed and so that that exhibit uh, won't be seen. I was kind of disappointed. And then to discover the schools and universities were closed and at an unprecedented time, which I mean, we don't know when that'll open again. And um, uh, so the kids are home and this sort of sparked some, some curiosity with me because I know when my kids were home for the holidays, what I discovered was that after about a week, maybe four days into it, they got bored. And I'm feeling that that might be happening for you. And I know that I spent a lot of time with my kids doing different things like rhyming, helping them with their spelling, like encyclopedia. One of my sons couldn't, um, he is kinesthetic. And so he, we had to do the dance, you know, E N C Y sort of thing. <laughs> and uh, my daughter, and I spent a lot of time drawing and finding stuff in the cupboard, like food coloring or styrofoam plates or paper plates, paint, watercolor, scissors, glue. So then that got me to thinking about the distancing and um, how I could add value to you. And so I decided that I would come on and share an art form. But Native Studio Art is more than just paint. And I started five years ago, and what that means is that uh, more than just paint is all about history, the value of the art, and all those other components that fit with art, like exhibiting, leadership. When I say leadership, how we present ourselves, our work, quality control, how we introduce it into the organizations, effective communication, how to breathe life into that dream. You know that one that's been sitting out on the, um, on the background, like mine has been sitting for how long? I always wanted an art studio and uh, so I pushed through that mindset well what is it that I can do especially at this time I said to myself what is it that I could do to add value to you and I decided to come on and give you 30 days every day of free art art um, workshops and uh, these are some of them I deliver and some of them what I do is they're always attached with knowledge, value, and skill. And as an educating artist, all artists are creative people, we're teaching something. And so what you see be sitting behind you is, or behind me, is what they call a star quilt design. When I talk today, I'll give you a little bit of knowledge a little bit of value aligned with lessons. Um, the value means why it's important to the people who create this. And the skill, what it takes. We each have three areas of learning, visual, hearing, and kinesthetic. And so when those three are combined together like they have been for centuries in the indigenous communities and the nation, as cultural people, we've always applied all three. And lots of times we don't. And up until the European contact, we didn't have pencil and pen. So here's, here's the thing that you will need each day when you log on with me. And that is pencil, pen, scissors, glue, construction paper, you'll see the construction paper, 
you can have um, the larger paper, the smaller pieces. I use construction paper when I'm teaching because it's affordable and so is white glue, as well as um, um, the other, the larger, larger uh, canvas boards you can get from uh, the dollar store. Acrylics, felts, watercolor, ruler, protractor set, uh, the glue gun. So what I'll do is I will, I will in a post today put what you will need to join me each day. And um, just give me a second, I'm just going to see if I'm actually on. Okay, refreshing my page and we're going to, we're going to start. The next thing was materials. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you about was the amount of work I put into to what I'm going to show you today and every day for 30 days will come with content, PDFs, um, access to the videos and um, the links to the origin of the designs and that kind of thing if I can put it in there. Every day when the video goes up it'll stay up for 72 hours and then it's going to be taken down from Facebook. You'll have access to these videos when you subscribe and when you go to subscribe you go to nativestudioart.net slash art classes and you will find a little subscribe and all I ask is for your email so that I can become busy and, and create a space for my learners for you because this resource you can you're gonna see how I alter it and deliver it now what you're seeing here is an actual design for a quilt a fabric quilt and we can go big and in my teachings what I do is I shrink them down you can also create smaller smaller rhombus. Well, there's a name for this and I'll get to that in a minute. S um, smaller tiles to make put on cardstock. The index cards that you can give as gifts. Kids love this stuff. And um, so therefore, I'll just get to what we're going to do today is the star quilt design. And I'm going to give you a little knowledge. The origin of the star quilt is from the Lakota people. And the history of it aligns with what they call Morning Star. And Morning Star is actually Venus. And it's also referred to as Dawn Star. And it re represents direction from which the spirits travel to earth and um, the link between the living and the dead and it symbolizes immortality it is created and given for ceremonies and it has high regard amongst the Lakota women and um, because one of the things when it's made with the Lakota people the woman is actually called we am referred to as we am and what that means is little creator because there is no one else but god that creates life and with these blankets we recognize that creation and we respect it and we're we're filled with gratitude okay so this art form is actually comprised of math and so that you can teach children math so this is why the protractor set I will have what you call a um, downloadable PDF by imaginique blogspot.com okay I mentioned their link because it's their copyright for us to print out and I'm really really thankful for them to do this. 
and in my set of instructions I tell you how to do it quicker and this is me when I'm teaching I'm always looking for a shortcut but in one that delivers quality control so that it's it's packaged it's cut prepared cut and packaged and what that means is when I went to the when I went out to deliver this to 300 students I cut these okay so the relationship is with these shapes are called isosceles, an isosceles triangle, and a rhombi. And the handout that I, I have um, taken the math from, I couldn't do it better. Um, I will recognize the lady in, um, in the handout, and you will have the link or attachment, whichever I'm, I have permission to to share that information with you because she she spent the time creating the the instructions for students from grade four to grade seven okay and so she gives directions of the rhombi and uh i have it wrote here but um it's um angles and degrees and i'm sure that you want to just see where we're going to go with with, with the art form. Okay, so I'm just making sure I've got, okay, so what I did was I also created a um, indigenous or aboriginal quilting history PowerPoint. And if you're watching, that PowerPoint will be available to you um, when you subscribe and you will put um, I will know that it's the star quilt today when I see your name in the subscription all right the design is an eagle and you will have also that design and how to do it and uh, the eagle is very, very, one of, one of um, indigenous people's inspirations. And that is because the eagle represents love. And in order, and here's some leadership, in order to love others, we first need to love ourselves. And I think at this time, with um, all the busyness of the coronavirus, to send the positivity and love out into out out into the world, and um, have compassion because it is it is very very trying, and at times um, uh, I don't know about you, but I I get sparked with oh I get fly off the handle for a second. I go they're doing whoever it is we are all doing the best that we can and we are at a place at the best at our best at this moment and um, so I'll leave that with you leave that sit with you um, the indigenous um, the indigenous interpretation of the eagle symbology and it also in, in the way that I've been taught 25 years ago sits in the east the medicine wheel is a whole different aspect, and what I've done is I've changed it into the five elemental truths, okay? So that's a whole different lesson with lots. I, I actually spiral my education or instruction from that, that um, pivotal, from that circular point, from east, south, west, north, and then in the middle as um, the, another element, right? Okay. So the sheet that I have for you, I already cut my triangle, and you want construction paper. These triangles, there are about two inches. So what I did is I grafted on uh, cardstock two inches, drew lines, and. I took my copy from, from my cutout 
and and place it like that. Okay, can you see that? And I drew lines all the way down the sheet. And this way you get a ton in no time. Okay. We're going to start in to okay. I'm gonna take one, and uh, it'll look like that. This is this is um, okay. And then we're going to we need glue after we cut these. And there's my glue. I don't mind it on my fingers. For the kids, you might want to uh, put it on something else. I use Q-tips if you want. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we're going to The center, the center of the page, right here, you can fold the page and then fold it again to find the mark, but do it gently or mark it out so that these points hit the center. Okay? And then there is this one. You pretty much get the, the gist of this. So how I was going to ask, um, did everybody get um, their shopping? done I noticed that the grocery stores you can um, phone and what will happen is they'll deliver your groceries you give them an order I don't know how that works this is white glue from the dollar store um, this this the kids can do bigger like that eagle what you're gonna find is that you have to make sure when you cut these triangles that they're exact otherwise they don't they don't uh, fit together properly I'm just moving really quick to give you a quick demonstration. You can have your kids cut a bunch of these up and maybe earn their way to the fun later on in the evening. And, um, or call your friends over and lay out a great big sheet like I have. We have social distancing right now, so maybe um, it's more like family members that you're, 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 um, are who are in the home. Like that, okay? And then here comes the, the interesting part, is when you look at this, and go like this. And like that. Okay. Get, you place these triangles in an interesting placement. If for your first time, I would do a dry run. Oop. 
that I don't want on the back of that board. Okay. And you can see where I'm going. You can fan this all the way around. squares are two inches. Okay. My hands cramping up. These squares here are one inch, which is, and if you want to do it, do something on cardstock, then that's where the math and the measurements come in, come into play. And you know what? You don't necessarily have to do it this way, but you can draw some interesting designs. And that's where I got this design from. And I had to uh, alter the tiles. So if you have any questions about this day two creative challenge, the 30 day part of the 30-day challenge, drop your questions down below. And when you finished doing your star quilt design, I'd love to see it. You could pop it into the comments here and I will, later on, you will see the, the information and the link. You'll see the subscription to subscribe for all, all of the items here. Okay, um, I hope that your day is filled with sun and positive vibes. We'll catch you later.